Okay, so um, we're up and running. I'm not going to keep you too long, but we're just going to cover the, the fundamentals and, and squeeze as much in as we can in the next half hour or so from working with junior infants to second class. Now, I am I am conscious of the fact that I'm, I'm dealing with primary school teachers here, so certainly not novices. So, you know, if it feels like um, I'm going over anything a wee bit too much um, or, it, or it becomes a little bit, or should we know that already, or even borderline patronising, I apologise in advance. Okay. So just the, the four areas that we're going to cover today um, is just the Gaelic start. Um, so that's certainly geared towards more the infants. Um, then fundamental skills kind of working once you get that under under your belt. You know, we were talking maybe senior infants. For second, um, the activity planner, which is on one of the, the GA websites, which is a very, very handy um, piece of kit for for you to be aware of and then some other resources that we feel that maybe you're aware of maybe you don't there is an awful lot there in fairness we just want to make you aware of that okay so gaelic start we're talking about um developing the the fundamental movement skills so we're talking abcs rjts and cpks okay so obviously Agility, balance, coordination, run and jump and throw in, and then probably which the first six there, those two first two um, squares would be from a sporting context would be generic to pretty much all sports, um, field sports. Um, and then, you know, probably the last box is is a little bit more, um, a little bit more focused on, on Gaelic games, but certainly not you know, exclusive too. So catching, passing, kicking and striking when you bring um, hurling involved or indeed or indeed rounders. OK, so we feel the idea, ideal, excuse me, way of, of working with that would be the, the stations. OK, um, some of you would have, have seen this or maybe you haven't. Um, so individual stations, um, three, four, five behind a station, set up as many as is appropriate in, in your hall or outside for your class. Look at it, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you know exactly what would work um, for your classroom and, and what wouldn't work. So I'm going to kind of speak in broader terms, but you've got several little stations there. There would be on the right hand side, a couple lined up behind each player and they each get a chance to do that station, perform whatever, um, you know, physical skill, fundamental movement skill that is. Um, so in between on the left hand side, going through the ladder over a hurdle, you know, zigzagging around the cones, you're obviously working on agility, you're working on jumping. You know, if you bring a ball in there and it's a throw against the wall and a catch, you'd be bringing and catching in. OK, so you can see um, you can see the, the setup there. There would be each each station would run for two, three minutes, perhaps. And then you would get them to move on to the next station. The dynamics of how much explaining do you explain each station each time to the, to the um, as you move on or do you explain them all at the start? Um, look, at you'll know that what that works best for your own classroom. All right. So you can see again other other ways of, of working it. There's, I'm going to show you a wee, um, resource we have now with, with all these um, station cards in them. Again, we hand drawn thing from a, a Gaelic start, um, which would have been under 60, under six, beg your pardon, uh, a couple of years ago. So a little hand drawn. It doesn't have to be all as computerized and graphics like the previous ones were. And there's one with five stations. So that was from a Saturday morning where I think between there was under sixes, so between junior infants, probably a couple of ones that weren't in infants yet, and senior infants, I think we had 55 in the hall. Um, uh, in it was a secondary school hall. It wasn't a massive one either, um, just a normal enough one. But it was four or five behind each station, three or four minutes. Moved, moved them on down. You know, in this case, obviously it was a parent between each station and a coach um, at each station. So, but you get the idea um, from that. I'm just going to um, I'm going to share my screen now. So bear with me. Now, hope you can all see that. Um, we're making this OneDrive resource available to you. Um, I'll put the link in at the end of it. So it's a primary school teacher resources. So it's a um, you can log on to it, um, click on the link, and then download us as your um, at your leisure. So we're going to stations. We've them all itemized here between agility, balance, coordination, handling, 
and jumping, kicking, running, striking. Okay, and so there's three or four um, stations in each one. So if I there's if you click on that, it comes up as a Word document. I have it open here. So you can see, you, know, you can print these off, keep them as a resource uh, physically in the school, um, or you can have them, you know, on the on hard drive stored in the school leader. All right, so you can see we diagram what what it's about, what you're working on, rules on the right, what to play. We focus at the bottom, and then which is pretty handy, how to make it harder, how to make it easier, and if you want to go that far, the couple of coaching points that you can um, that you can make again, probably related around head, hands, feet. You'll hear that you'll see that a lot in some of the the fundamental movement skills, coaching wise, head, hands, feet. A lot of the the and then any equipment you might have. Okay, so that's one on agility. For example, here's one on handling. Okay, so just jump, uh, hitting, uh, throwing bean bags into the different coloured rings, different scoring points. Um, look at you can obviously bring in as much as you need to with some of the older ones you could bring it you know a little bit of maths into that and, and then keeping track of their score um using paper or you know if there's a whiteboard in the hall or, or whatever look at you'll know what's best for your own group again how to make it harder how to make it easier equipment coaching points okay um and you can see then so that's for um agility so there's four there and you can see there's several different um, folders with three or four uh, stations in each. So there's, there's plenty there. OK. I'm going to come back into. Come back into. Um, our presentation, just bear with me. I hope that was clear. OK, so one other um, aspect of the, the Gaelic start then is obviously not all stations. They want to play games. So six different um, field of games um, is what they've termed it. From the GES point of view, so there's target games, court games, field games, non-invasion, part invasion, and then full invasion games. Um, you can see then there's a couple of different examples of of, of each of those type of games in it. So um, certainly I would be court game in the middle. I'd be fond of playing over the river. Uh, you've got tower ball, um, field games. A lot of in this category is based around rounders, so they can be the you know the proper big game of rounders with your whole class involved, or you can play wee mini, you know three v threes, one v one, two v two, we small games of rounders if you've got a nice big yard. Okay, then you've got non-invasion games which obviously don't involve moving from your space over into another team space. Part invasion where you might designate. Um, you know, your midfielders, let's say if you're playing a game, they're allowed to move between the defenders and the forwards and only them. And then you've got full invasion games where you've got maybe different restrictions or different. Um, so I'll, I'll just take the opportunity to uh, share my screen again and just nip back into the, the OneDrive and just show you um, again. And we've got a we've got a nice amount of, of resources beyond that. Um, OK, so field of games. And again, court games, field games, full invasion, non-invasion, part invasion and then target games. So, for example, um, let me see if we went into the court games. We've got over the river, circle tennis and prisoner ball. I have over the river already locked and loaded here. Um, you can see then uh, the simple setup Okay, over the river or no man's land by another name. Um, area on your right, area on your left. You have to kick the ball um, over the river into the other team zone. And listen, scoring system there is is whatever you want it to be. Fifty points for getting it over, two hundred points for kicking it out of your hands. If they catch it over their head, it's an extra fifty points. Whatever you want. If you're working inside, um, if you have in your school has the the soft foam footballs, that's a great game for the under for the for the 
junior infants, senior infants, they really get to kick the ball as hard as they can. And, and like everything else, you know yourself, tell them if and when it hits you, it's a soft ball, it won't hurt. That should hopefully prevent a wee bit of giving out before it happens. Um, how to make it harder, how to make it easier, coaching points, and then any any equipment. Okay, again, don't be like, uh, you know, a lot of these things here, they're, they're, there's as much to, you can add to them and change them as there is on the cards themselves. All right. So we said that was a, that was a court game. If I go, for instance, into a target game, I'm obviously not going to go through all of these. Um, target game, there's there's five games there in, in, in the target section. So if I was to click on Terror Ball, I have it loaded already. So you have um, you have a square. Well, it was a square. Someone's after moving the cone out of the way, which will happen plenty. Um, uh, you've got a person on each four, one of the four corners of each square. And then you've got your cone in the middle and then you've got a, a defender protecting the tower. OK, so the idea is the boys in this case pass the ball around the perimeter of the square. OK, and eventually they have to throw the ball and hit the tower. If they hit the tower, it's, you know, 100 points. And if the defender saves it, it's 200 points. And then no matter what, they can switch over between uh, once you have a goal, you switch to the outside. Um, you know, you don't keep the same players the same positions the whole time you can add in small rules like um the ball turns into a bomb after two or three seconds so they pass the ball along nice and quick um but again whatever whatever you want i think we're having a wee bit of problems with the screen hold on bear with me it wouldn't be a team's meeting if it didn't go too well, or if it went perfectly Here we go. Now we're we back with me now. It's just one of the other boys in the meeting if they want to come in there. Um, are we back seeing terrible? Yeah, in we can see you now. Okay, that's great. An awful thing to be talking in a vacuum. Um, that's the beauty of these webinars. Okay, so again, you can just see the tower tower ball set up there. It's a skill card, same as the other ones. Um, you know, the picture paints a thousand words, pretty much straightforward like that. And then again, how to make it harder, how to make it easier, and then coaching points. All right, and any equipment that you you need. All right, and again, that's set up for five. You know, if you want to six around or whatever, or even just three, and you would have, I would do that in the yard with junior infants very easily set up very very quickly um you know one minute 90 seconds from a, a bear yard to having it set up set up and um and walking away all right okay uh, i'll just show you one last one this is a field game so a, a version of it's called quick cricket it's a version of rounders so basically you have a, a kicker there with two footballs and a third in her arms so she kicks the three of them and then when she runs from out to the red point, out to the red cone, I think it says one, one point, yellow cone is five and ten. So she decides how many times um, she runs out to whichever cone she wants and back in. And the fielders there have to get the ball, the three footballs, and work together and get them back into the blue circle um, to stop the player from scoring anymore. All right. Again, that's one V four. Uh, so a group of five working. That could be, you know, smaller. You wouldn't have, could have used um less amount of footballs you could be working it together two players kicking at the same time um if maybe if someone that's a weaker kick you know pair them up with someone with a stronger kick again you'll know you'll know what's best again harder and easier coaching points and equipment you know okay we certainly wouldn't be doing this in the in the hall but you don't need a huge amount of space for that either. and certainly you can set a couple of those up um in a yard on, on top of each other all right so that's our that's our field of games. I just don't know exactly when we were cut off earlier, but that's our field of games there. So the six um six different categories. There's three or four in that case for target games five in each. Okay, so you can see that there. So there's four four different versions of rounders, Danish rounders, etc. So there's, there's plenty in that. Okay, um I'm gonna go back to the presentation. Sorry for the chop and changing, but this is the only way to do it.
I presume with the silence that means there's no questions and it's going um, very well so far. This goes back to the start each time, so just have to wait for me to get back into the where we were. So that was the field of games. That's the Gaelic start. Now. Oh, okay, so the fundamental skills. So moving on to the second bit, fundamental skills. So uh, there's skill cards there available. Uh, again, it's in a resource to start coaching the skills. So, you know, perhaps you're, you're, you're a teacher and you're maybe not very familiar with football or where do I start or anything like that. Um, there's skill cards there which are very, very straightforward. They use the idea method. We'll look at this in a second. And there's um, the step method there to change the activities that actually appear on the um, on the skill card. So content isn't a problem. There's loads of stuff there. We'll show you more in a wee second. Um, how do coach it? Look at your teachers, you know yourself, but for the purposes of, of tying this in with the, the GA. So there's the skill cards you can see in the front of that. Um, you know, there's the teaching points of the skill. Um, the next page the, on Overleaf, there's a couple of um, high catch, practicing the technique, games, skills, activities, drills built around the high catch. And there's the one for the punt cat. Um, it's obviously we've been dated. That, that looks like it was. From Anna and they were in Crow Park, so it's they're a little bit dated. Um, the graphics in them, but there you go, punt kick, and again teaching points, and then on the back side of it is you know practicing the technique, um, so basic intermediate drills, and then games to develop the skill. All right, so again, there's plenty of content uh, of that. I'll show you that again in a wee second. Um, we've got more. We've got all those skill cards available in that. Um. And that one drive as well. So coaching a skill, idea method, look at dealing with teachers. So introduce, demonstrate, explain, execute, and attend. And from a coaching point of view, no more than when you're correcting, when they're doing a bit of work, that's when you do any wee bit of spot and fix and make sure the, the, what the kids are doing um, matches up to the proper technique. Um, so that's fairly straightforward and, and won't be too much of a revelation. What you, you know, might not be just familiar with, but would do certain bits and pieces of it the whole time. The step method, how to change an activity, make it easier or harder without moving on to a different activity. You know, change, adjust the space, put a time limit on or take it away or um, change the tasks. So very straightforward from, you know, you're playing a normal game, they have to score with their opposite hand. They have to kick the ball with their opposite foot. They have to get two passes instead of, you know, one before the score goal. No solos, one solo allowed, et cetera, et cetera. And any equipment. So can you use a tennis ball? Can you do a wee pass and drill? Can you throw a rugby ball in to just work on the reactions? Or indeed, if you're in the hall or on the Tarm Academy yard, uh, a reaction ball itself is um, is a pretty cool piece of kit as well. All right. And then players. So you can see, you saw some of those games there where, you know, and even the rounders one was 4v1 or, you know, tower ball was 5v4v1. v Can you make a 3v1 instead of a 3v3 game, make it 4v2, etc. Play around with it. All right. OK, I'll um, I'll just go through this now in a wee second and I, I will come back to the, um, the skill cards as well. So we've got the activity planners. This is the third bit. So we are moving along pretty well. The activity planner is on the learning.gea.ie website. So that's the learning and games development website that the GA have. And it's a very, very useful website. It's a very comprehensive and sort of an awful lot of documents on that. Um, so once you've logged on, registered and logged on, um, it'll give you the, the ability to search for activities based on the selections you make. Um, it will give you those drills or games. It will give you the video. Um, if there is one, it'll give you diagram, equipment, etc. And once you're logged in and registered, you can actually save those um, drills and you could save them, I guess, as, as lesson plans. So you can put three or four set, completely separate drills onto the same session, print it off as a PDF, save it as a PDF. And, you know, that's that's very, very handy, um, handy from your point of view uh, as teachers to keep. So I'll just... Go back to the rigmarole again of sharing my screen. I think you're all with me now. 
Okay, so again, in our resources, we've got one on skill cards. Here are a lot of skill cards and related to football, the, the, you know, the, the use of the football. We've got skill cards then um, based on the ABCs, the run and jump and throw and catch, pass, kick as well. So you can see the high catch. Um, you can see um, the coach points uh, in relation to that. And then on the far side of the, the second page of the um, page, um, here's a couple of three drills across the top, two games across the bottom or modified activities. And then you have your, your space, time and task equipment and players over um, on the bottom right hand corner. So they're available for all the, the skills that I showed you. Um, we've just downloaded them and put them into that file for you. They are available on the on the learning.ga website. Again, um, keep them in hard copy on your computer. Um, or, or print them off from the school for school resource. Okay. And again, similar. Um, similar for that's if that's the punt kick there. Okay, similar for, for all the rest of them. Okay. Um, so we are moving on to the, the planner. So sorry, learning.ga.ie. Okay, I'm not logged in and registered there, but you can just click on the planner. Hope everyone's staying with me. Now, so it's an interactive um, web page. So I'm going to make a couple of selections here and see what it comes up with. I'm going to click on football. You can see it's made, um, doing a wee bit of work there. I'm going to go from four to six years. Aiden, just give it a wee second. Okay. Um, it's not loaded up on the screen there. Thanks, Dan. Are we back with me now? No, not just yet. The beauty of walking remotely. It's still showing the high catch skill card. It's all right. Stop sharing and start sharing again. Apologies for this, folks. I'm sure you've all had your fill in, um, of teams last couple of months. I'm sure you've sympathy. What are we like now, Dan? Yeah, good to go. Okay, good to go. All right, so we're on the activity planner. We we clicked on it through the learning.ga um, website. Um, I selected football. I've clicked on four to six years of age. Uh, I'll increase it, widen it a wee bit more, and I put seven to nine as well. And then you can um, filter even the selections that they have into what they in, into fo filter it further. Sorry. So I'm going to look for high catch, body catch low catch and reach catch so it's a pretty wide field and i'm just going to click on body catch piggy in the middle straight away all right so it'll give you the organization of it so what you need to do how to make it easier how to make it harder uh, if there's a video of all, um, involved in that it will give it to you if there's a diagram and it was working it would show you that there too and if you were logged in it would give you a third option here along the top. So it would back to activity. You can print it off, but it also add to session. OK, and there's also the ability to share it and uh, et cetera, et cetera. I just see there we go. There's a better example there. So you can see body catch over the river. So you're working on the body catch over the river is the name of the game. The fun routine. You've seen this earlier on. It's there's a rating on it. The difficulty rating. There's the diagram. There's the video. Um, there's the cones, et cetera, et cetera. OK, I'm not going to play the video because YouTube doesn't obviously it, it lags a bit when we when we go over, but it, it is there. All right. So I hope that's um, fairly straightforward. Look, there is an absolute world of stuff there on that. Um, again, you could. Um, didn't say earlier, but there's that you can actually filter it for the what type of activity you want to do while work on those skills and then you can go. Very topical, obviously, at the minute, social distancing friendly. So it'll give you a couple of ones with regard to that. All right. Oh, that's OK. Uh, near, nearly there. I only think I have to go back in and do this once more. I'm loading back up the presentation. We're on the last wee bit. Um, the primary school. Resources.
No, and I just have to cycle through all of these again. Maybe there's a very easy way of doing this that I'm not getting, but just don't tell me how you can email me afterwards. Well, that's the planner. Now, so you can see um, primary school teacher resources. So again, this will be all through the, um, not all through, but the majority of it is through the, the learning.ga um, website. There are actually weekly curriculum lesson plans for junior to second class. So eight of them, and there's actually for third to sixth as well. Um, with physical activities, they're interactive. Some of them, you know, there's videos involved in them, and um, they're there. They're actually come out at the tail end of um, May and June, and, and to be honest, they slip they slip by me at the time too. There's stuff on handball skills. There's stuff on rounders, hurling, and camogie. The KMRI um, uh, area. I'm going to show you that now in a wee second. You will have the link to the Calvin Coaching and Games One Drive. Um, which is what I've been pulling all the documents for. So there's a lot of stuff on that. And then there's also the YouTube channel that we have that there is, um, there's a couple of different things, skills and drills that we would have been tweeting and sending out to club um, club coaches during the first lockdown. And that might be, um, you know, might be beneficial to, to you to have a wee look at. Look at it's there. You might as well be aware of it than, than not. Okay. So excuse me. So the, I'll, I'll show you, I'll finish this off and then I'll, I'll actually show you to on the website. I'll share my screen again. So KMRI, um, I'll not embarrass any of the boys um, that I work with for the Irish translation of what that means. So I think next step or step ahead, something along those lines. Um, so there's teacher notes for 12 subjects. So basically what this may, is, it's a way of tying the GA in with some of your other subjects. Um, and I split up into three different sections for your for your junior and your middle and your senior cycle within primary school. Then there's a specific one about the PE. There's 16 lesson plans for junior to sixth class. And then there is a separate primary planner um, as opposed to the activity planner, which we just showed in the last section. I haven't gone through it document for document, as in, is there more or less in one or the other? If any of you feel the need to, by all means do and tell me what you find. But it, it, it's it's pretty much in or around the same. OK, and again, that's access through the, the learning.ga calendar. OK, I am going to, that's just making you aware of the, the next webinar and it's based more for the, the upper classes within your school. So for the last time, I'm going to share my screen over and wrapping up now in the next couple of minutes all right so again the learning.ga uh, i'm in schools and primary school and this is the primary school session of the learning development portal as you can see and this was advertising the webinar that was on just beforehand um so there's your um primary challenges your weekly curriculum lessons and um, so yep so from about june there's issue eight so there's the eight of eight for junior emphasis second uh, I've just took the liberty of clicking on one of those before. Aiden, just give it a second. It's the screen's froze again. Okay, fantastic. Maybe it's only your coverage that's letting you down. Are we there now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Good man, Dan. All right, so you can see I've clicked on one of the primary school challenges there um, and you can just see what it what entails so six pages there um, there's a competition and um, that's you can click on that's an interactive video movement skills circuit circuit beg your pardon um, et cetera, etc etc all right I'm just not we're not going to go into huge detail with that but there's there's a lot, there's one on Skelga as well um, you've got ones for the older classes there's third to fifth class sixth class etc etc and then there's worksheets um for the kids um available there 12 of them now um you can see at the bottom that's the KMRI and then primary school resources they're just probably tabulated our skill cards and a couple of other different things as well you can click at that at your leisure but the KMRI um resource so it's a separate wee thing so again you can see junior cycle 
I'm going to open that up in another tab. I can load ahead of schedule and the PE one. All right, so the PE one, you can see. Okay, so this is the PE camera, ball handling, movement skills. Look, at there will be some duplication of some activities that you've seen already, but perhaps for lesson plans and for your own resources and printing off and, and having stuff on file um, to, to, for whatever reason you need stuff on, on file for, you know, maybe um, inspections and, and have a, a resource to look back on and, and take from every now and again, they're not a bad thing to have. Uh, so that's the P um, subsection of that. The camera one in general, junior cycle. Okay, so you can see then there's uh, it, it's taken in art and drama, English, geography, et cetera, et cetera. I'll not go into them all. I just click on one of them. So the history one, and you can see there's pupil worksheets there as well. Um, all right, so it's tying in GA, Satanta, where Cúhollán came from, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there's different little tasks and you know, projects they can do, timeline with GEA. So, you know, it's 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 trying to do a little bit of history wh while working through the 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 GEA. Okay. Um almost there. So I'm gonna put that link up in a wee second to our um our OneDrive. You can see there's the field of games, the stations, skill cards, there's warm-up games. So we fund warm-up games that um that you can use to play um, with your kids. There's that's the presentation available there, and there's another an additional coaching uh, document, just a load of other games and drills and stuff like that that we have from before. Uh, and the last thing I'll just show you is the Calvin Coaching and Games um, uh, YouTube channel. Look, at some of the stuff is for older ones, some of the stuff is for younger ones. For example, there's wall ball drills, a wee um, compilation of, you know, a couple, what, a minute and 23 seconds of a couple of wee drills that certainly would be, would have been given to under seven coaches in the, in the, in the county during the first lockdown. There's a couple of under seven skills to do at home. Use them, you know, however, however, which way you want. All right. Um, or I think. Um, if anyone has any questions, I, I hope uh, I didn't fight for that too much, but I was aware of my uh, audience, I hope. And um, let me just see if I have that. And I'm just after putting up into the box, into the chat box, that's the link um, to the OneDrive that we have. Um, I'll type in that all that information was in. I'll type in my address as well if you have any problems or any other additional questions. Um, has anyone any questions there? Please shout them out. No, cheers. Yeah. Thanks, Lynn Aiden. That was great. Okay. All right. Um, just make you aware of uh, in two weeks time, we're doing one for, for the older classes um, in the in, in the school. Um, you know, if you're in, if you're a second, first, second class teacher, it's a lot of going to be games and drills um, in, in the next webinar. So, you know, it's not to say that, oh, they're completely, you wouldn't be using them with your ones. So there might be something, um, there might be something in there. We will be putting this up on, on our YouTube channel uh, as well. So by all means, please um, spread the word. If there's any, if there's no other questions, we might just tip along. It's, um, it's got to 40 minutes, so it's probably a wee bit longer than I mean to keep, meant to keep you. I think if we're okay, um, we're going to say goodbye and uh, have a good evening. Thanks very much for for um, dropping in. Okay, slow. Cheers, Aidan.